hope that's gonna do it for the stream. Just kidding. Whoa! That was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. There you go, Victoria. I was about to tell you I'm streaming too, How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? It is the go. I can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad I should take a picture. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. And capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that... I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. <laughs> <laughs> a dumb word, that's what I'm talking about. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um... You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extreme. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? <laughs> oh dear. That's a lot to read. She likes Seattle, likes birds, likes birds, likes birds, plays guitar. Extremely popular okay. from the 1800s onward. The first American I haven't to kept up with my journal as much as I should. Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even... Sorry, Max. No more self... And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. How old are they? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Because in her book, it was saying 18 years old, but she, I don't know. To me, she doesn't look 18. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? <laughs> For Thanks, sure. but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. 
Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I like her, um, voice actress. Yeah, got an achievement. Yeah. I'm curious if we can edit anything. Wait, how did I get to the pictures? Wait. What the hell? I'm lost. <laughs> Stab that bitch from behind. Oh, hello. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let yeah, one of photographers future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. We're flirting with the teacher, ho. You can never escape the lighthouse here. It's the one from the dream. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. I think I interact here with just about everything. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. No one says that. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why?
I didn't know some bully's gonna come in. Now, who would bother to talk write shit? Crap. I'm good to flow. Thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. The hell? Teenagers seriously do that shit? It's fucking weird. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. I thought I was supposed to go in here. Yeah. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing in here? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Oh, show. There we go. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. You know what? That would actually be a really cool when picture. Ripping in half. Or something like that. Yeah, they are pretty crazy. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. No, you should keep the picture you ripped. It would signify she's torn inside. Tell me that doesn't sound badass in original. Are you in the girl's bathroom, my boy? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Whoa. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. Why is he? I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who oh. you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing Don't down! ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Yo... Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I yeah, held she, up my hand. I was gonna say that, but and then I don't know I how old they here. are. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now shadow. Kate is being hassled again. Oh yeah, and she's already got hit with a piece of paper. This is real. Oh, now, shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Bueller. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't oh, yeah. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, of Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad. When I took my selfie, right? Jefferson asked me a she question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. 
A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. I don't think I've seen any memes about your uh, generation. So I can go back in time. For selfie expression. Time travelers. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of our. I think the second one's about that goth go girl, though. And check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Why well, I just still not know? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Lisa class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right you answer? Find detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. That sounds kind of the first uh, American Daguerreo confusing. I need to figure this out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Hmm. I, I probably have to answer. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assignment. Trap I need to get up. Max is so far away ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. Here's the thing, It's though. time to be an everyday hero. I wasn't even, she wasn't even in the bathroom when I got in the bathroom. So that means I would have to find her. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh, Lord. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Bro, tell me my picture idea wasn't amazing, though. You'll have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, whoops. Uh, I think if I say why, it'll mess it up. So I'm gonna go with X again. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Because if I said why, I feel like he would carry on the conversation a bit longer. I don't know what B is, so. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy.
Okay, Max, retrace every step. You wouldn't really need to. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What oh, are you doing? The alarm. Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Howser, it's happening again. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hell of more trouble for I need this a hammer to break it open. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Yeah. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Yeah, that was very convenient, but I'll take it. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. I don't smell smoke. Hey, do you <laughs> hear that fire alarm? Saved. That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Matson. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. What Leave Mr. Garfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Check it here, bro. Saving all the goth chicks. That's my duty in this world. you sir you look a little stressed out are you okay I'm I'm just a little worried about my future are you sweating pinballs is that all you're thinking about you can always be upfront with me Max or have you done something wrong is that it well Max talk to me oh Lord um I'm gonna report it. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this, without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? To be honest, I don't think I should. What do you think? Do you think I should change the story? It's really not gonna do anything. Because I would just stay silent. 
But let's see. Let's see what happens. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I... I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Yeah. I had a feeling that telling the truth was better, to be honest. <laughs> Here we go again. You look a little... I just saw Nathan Prescott. I had a feeling that I wouldn't do shit, but it was worth checking out. So does Academy mean that they're teenagers or not teenagers? Would Nathan Prescott please come mm. to the front office? Thank you. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, she looks hella stoned. <laughs> I'm so serious. Hey, Hayden. There she is! The retro selfie master. That's me, alright. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. the Vortex Club anyway. It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. I don't think so. I'm not Miss Party. That's because you haven't partied with us. Or even Victoria, Thank who's God. pretty funny when she's baked. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Victoria. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Kidnapped. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Fucking potheads, dude. Bro, I called it too! Didn't I say she looked like she was completely baked? <laughs> and then this dude's over here talking about smoking weed. Look at that. That is not a sober girl. <laughs> Hi, Brooke. 
Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Okay, let me just go through your bag really quick. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. Wait, will she let me use, uh... Flyer drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me get... I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, I for sure, read man. Too many Good luck with sites. it. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please. Okay, she didn't like that answer. Let me say what it is. Hi, Brooke. Let me get... That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that. Especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Yeah. Here. Get the what? drone world around campus. Hey! Heck yeah! Yeah, this is, I'm assuming I don't actually do it, but... Please don't crash it, Max. Please. Oh my god, you're making me nervous. You are making me so You're making me nervous as hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just just give it back. Just give it back. Please just give it back to her. Just stop. Oh my god. That was too much. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. That was terrifying. Smokers. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. Oh, my bad. I didn't know that you were back. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. How can you tell that's an otter? Bro, that looks like a coyote. That straight up looks like a coyote, bro. I don't want to go that way. Aw, oh, dude, that's a freaking coyote. I don't even care. Is anyone else I can talk to before I go back in? Hey! Yo, Justin. Check out what the up? bags. Come to thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... <laughs> jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose light or a tray flip, you should walk on. Oh god. How would I even figure that stuff out though? Huh. 
We're done talking. You're too sketchy. Let me try rewinding it and pick the other option. I don't want him to, like, no, hate me. Oh, so I can just... Okay. But I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I came to know Slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a trade flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate or check. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for Very a tree sweet. flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ah. oh. Ooh. Uh, tray flip, buddy, because it's not completed. You can watch us destroy these rails. Alright, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Dude gets destroyed by the skateboard and I take a picture of him. That's so messed up. Anyone else gonna do anything? Hey! I'm stoked to see those photos framed and shit. You're not really a skate Betty though. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Ah, hey, it's a skate. Oh, uh, the uh, what you call her? Gothic chick. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Yep, I knew it. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. We <laughs> ran away. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that! I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. <laughs> you knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. One day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. Let's chill later, Justin. <laughs> Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Bro, Justin is hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's the dude that was getting bullied. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put Into my sketches on Facebook. Reverse. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Okay. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way! You're a good substitute news. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Shouldn't she be against the tree? Best portrait ever. Guess not. I'm curious what the consequences will be for him putting that on Facebook. Assuming that's what they're referring to. I go anywhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, well, I gotta talk to you, bro. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You have to answer a simple Dude, question. Dude, this hair is sick. Who photographed the famous following soldier? Oh, God. 
Couldn't even tell you. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. That is again. <laughs> hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both yeah, work kind of. photographer <laughs> images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Tell number three. Let's see if you're worthy. Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Of course, it's the last one. Hey, Evan. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Let's check it out. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Is it? Fantastic, Evan. Fantastic. Okay. Just double checking us. It's not where I'm supposed to go. At least I don't think it is. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, it is. Max is smart. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Phenomenal catch, buddy. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Can I catch the football? Oh, that's Logan. Fuck you. Hello, pretty girl. Not you. Not that bitch. Wait, I have to talk to her, don't I? How do you, Samuel? Well, hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Ah, uh, I guess. It just makes the campus what? look sad. You can't That's a weird response. That That's a really weird response. What do you response. think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. I'm, I'm not See later, talking Samuel. to him anymore. And watch you step around here, Max. After I sweep. Nice, bro. I paint. He's really weird. I didn't see this person. Oh. Oh, Alyssa. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for reading Chicklet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading Chicklet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. You sound busy, so... I guess I'm gonna... Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie ho of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Sweet. 
Jealous, you didn't know the answer. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Okay, I'll kick your head oh, into the- <laughs> Oh, that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <laughs> it's a bitch. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. I was honestly, as soon as I looked at that, that was my first uh, instinct. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Still, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Sucks to be you. Hey, do you understand English? Get lost. Huh? I still? No. Bro. Nice, bro. Wait a second. Huh. Nice, bro. Oh, dude. I don't quite get it. I There's see only that. one way around this. I don't get it. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. No. I don't get it, dude. Oh, okay. I don't know what the difference would be, though, but I, mean, I could try it. Sweet. This rain sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Use it. Awesome. Oh, Not maybe I need to talk, talk, talk to her. Your boy is lost. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. I wish I knew what it was, dude. No. Oh. Okay. okay, let's see if this works. Yeah, I was gonna say, cause like, if you crank the water up while he's up there, like, what would that even do, you know? That's why I was kind of thinking, like... It wouldn't really do anything, but, um... I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know what this would do, because it, it's hanging right there. Like, right in the middle of that window area. On that, uh... Metal thing. And then there's air. Oh, 
post, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Right, I know what I did wrong there. <laughs> that one was just on me. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water. I got it. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Bro. I'm sorry, but I gotta press RX. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait, hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Bitch, is that a threat? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Oh, no, I'm doing that. Fuck that bitch. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hurry, Courtney! Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. What the hell is this? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing yeah, left Yeah, she deserved ghosts. it, bro. I feel like in most situations like that, it either could go really, really badly, or it can change that um, person's life, so... Nineteen. You heard what she said about Nathan. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Okay, so she is 18. That does not <laughs> compute with my brain. <sighs> How the hell did you not find the gun, bro? You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Now we can say that the uh, gothic chick is hot. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. I wish you could zoom in on things. I love that feature in video games. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Ah. Uh. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. <sighs> Max and Chloe, 
Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. He's got a teddy bear like a goat. Oh, it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it's gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Miss me, I can tell it when they get up. Cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a two hundred dollar gift certificate. Oh shit. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's not exactly pretty and pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's kind of weird that she's like really depressing, but then like really, really happy about the tiniest things. I can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Who cheated on who? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Julia, this is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. Ah. Who cheated on who? You are what? ridiculous. Why is there a random knocking? Hey, mm -hmm. Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. Know, I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Oh. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my yep. boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my <laughs> last name? Juliet, I don't give a fuck. Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. What did she. What didn't she. Out. I just uh, wanted to see, uh. That's why I'm talking. What's my oh, last. Ridiculous. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean she's I don't a hoe. care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. <laughs> Oh. So am I going to Victoria's room? <laughs> Bro, if this game was remade on a new engine, they would be pretty sick. Aha. I hope Dana. And check out Victoria's room to find out if she is the kind of person I hope she's not. So sexting is probably here. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yeah, you're not. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure.
Oh, wait. Is this her diary? Victoria is a real oh. Jefferson groupie. So how how the hell can I find something to help me out? She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Whoa, I have no idea Victoria's parents own the chase space. Color me impressed. I didn't really just want to like click everything. I was kind of doing it, Ouch. trying to do it. Um, well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. I was trying to look for the most logical option. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Oh, that bitch. The dump some more paint on her ass. I wonder if this is like a side thing or if it's actually something I need to do to progress. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Alright, man, I'll catch you later. I'm not letting her out. Leave me alone, Max. I'm not letting. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. What did she. What? Ow. Uh. That's why I'm talking. What's my last. I'm... Of course I. You are ridiculous. Acor according. She saw the. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the if you don't let me out, I will scream. How do I want to show her? I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Wait, did I need to take a picture of it? Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Oh, I had to print it. I print it. And... Printed. Oh. That's an interesting thing to do. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zach? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like a Blackwell ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never <laughs> chase it down again. <laughs> Bro, are you freaking serious? That's crazy. <laughs> Max is a freaking G. Fuck this shit. Ow, that hurt. 
Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Who's somebody's? So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You Take the can't flash off. Me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. My issue with rewinding it is the cop won't get in trouble because I could just be like, hey, he was messing with this one student. And it, it looked inappropriate. And he could just be like, oh, no, I didn't. But with this way, I actually have proof. Mm. I want that girl to like me. I want her upset. I'll rewind it. So don't think I'm blind. I see every- Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. the fuck out of here. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Yeah. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Yeah. He was already after me. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. That's the name of the game. <laughs> I completely ignore him and take his car. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. 
There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? 60 it's miles? It's been a strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. I don't want to talk. <laughs> no worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Well, yeah, you said it. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking oh, against Picasso any day. Oh. Hardcore. So oh. you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Oh uh, what? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. <laughs> For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Rosemary was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You oh. best tell me what you told the principal? Now. Answer me, bitch! I told oh, him the truth. truth. Bitch. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Go. Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Oh, go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get strip punk gases out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So
So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Broken? Oh, man, are you serious? Wow, I haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Chloe the goat. in don't be shy the house still looks nice home shit home My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. How did I know she'd be a smoker? Alright, I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you to the homie Evan for watching as long as he could. Thank you to anyone else that watched. This is Life is Strange, and I will continue it some other time. Have a good night, good day, and I'll catch you later.